OK, so let's have a look at how we can really start to create your own scenarios in ALSI. So on the home screen, we have the Scenarios button. We're going to click into that. And as you can see here, what you instantly see is the Scenario Library, which shows all the scenarios that you have in ALSI. Plus, there's another menu down this side here, which has got a lot more functions. But let's have a look at the scenarios that we have. I'm going to look at the Adult Shock New. That's the scenario that we created by using the Quick Picks in the Facilitator screen. Next to that are a number of functions. So we can play the scenario, edit it, duplicate it, move it to another folder, email it out or via Dropbox, or delete the scenario. I'm going to duplicate it. So now we end up with Adult Shock New Copy. So this allows you to edit a scenario without the fear of losing the one that you've already got. Let's go into the edit mode. And you can see it changes again. But what we still have is the quick picks down this side with the plus button and the reorder button. But we've also got scenario settings button. And here you can change the name of the scenario. And you can change the gender and add in some custom parameters as well. If you tap on initial screen setup, this is quite a powerful screen and quite useful. This will change what the student sees when they first look at the screen. So you can choose to hide a number of the parameters, if not all of them, or show only some specific ones. You can also change the, the screen that they see. So it may be monitor mode, or you might want to put it into defibrillator mode. If you look at the quick picks themselves, when you tap on one of the quick picks, you can see that the editing mode is now quite extensive. So you can change the name of the quick pick. You can change the trending time. This is how you turn defib enabled on and off. And you can also change the jumping from one quick pick to the one below. These are all the parameters that you've got in that particular quick pick. And can, you can actually add more parameters. For instance, we may want to add an SPO2 waveform and change the shape of that. So make it pour up perfusion, and there it pops up. If you press the plus button, you can see you now have a whole menu of investigations, investigation templates, quick picks, images, videos, and so on. And we can create image galleries, create videos, and create teaching points and sounds from this. You can use the arrows to uh, reorder the quick picks. So it allows you a real extensive, detailed editing to take existing scenarios and create them into things that you want. When you press the Save button, it goes back to the main screen, and then you can then play that scenario to see how it looks. So that's how you can really get into a lot more detail in editing your scenarios.